hello everyone so in this video uh, we will uh, look into the sandbox account of the paypal and uh, if you have not seen my last video please see it because in the last video i have explained that what the sandbox account is and how to create the sandbox account on the paypal so uh, when it comes to sandbox account of the paypal uh, you will see the menu on the left side and in the first section uh, you can see that what uh, are the applications you have uh, the live details and the sandbox details so we will work on the sandbox so my focus will be on the mostly on the sandbox side so when when it comes when everything is done you can just go to the production or live mode so so when you need to integrate the paypal in your application you need to create the application on the paypal so by default it's uh, the paypal created the default application but we will create our own application so let me create it and technical voice so i am creating as uh, you know the merchant account uh, accept payment as a merchant account so if you want to you know move payments to the sellers uh, just as you know as a broker uh, in the e-commerce platform you can select the platform but I am selecting as a merchant and then select the sandbox business account okay so this is just a testing account the sandbox account is providing so let me create the app so when you create uh, the application uh, the PayPal will provide you uh, the client ID and the secret okay so this is the client ID and the client secret that we will use in the later videos uh, when we will integrate uh, the PayPal in our uh, application so on also if you go down uh, you can also create a webhook and you need to give the proper address uh, we will also see uh, we will also see that how we can test the uh, webhook with our local environments and uh, uh, you can also give the production uh, URL in the webhook and in the my accounts uh, it will show that what are the capabilities you have so we have the developer account and uh, uh, in the sandbox we will get these these you know the permissions and the services and these accounts are the user accounts so by default uh, PayPal uh, created a uh, two default accounts for you but you can also create for example if I want to create uh, the account and uh, you can just hit on create and it just created and if you can see the detail you it will you will get the username and password and you know the first name and the last name it is just for the testing purpose and but you can also edit it for example you need you, let me give it that technical voice voice and we can also you know uh, edit the email ID and the password but for now it's okay and you can see uh, that how much fund you have so I have 5000 uh, it's not real it's just you know just for testing so and uh, these are the settings okay so let me log in with this also let me change the password so we don't need to type every time so let me test this account on the you know new private window paypal sandbox login so let me give this next and login oh I think for this there is some different account let me paypal sandbox developer or sandbox user
this is that one so let me type this and password so now this is the PayPal account if you have the real one you can see that uh, your account this is my balance currently I have five thousand dollars and I can also see the other things but uh, this is not the scope of this video but uh, this is just an uh, testing account a user account so when I go to some uh, uh, you know to purchase something uh, on the uh, application or some website I can use my account uh, if it if, if 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 I have a real account for this account can only be used you know with the testing environment okay so uh, this section is all about the accounts and it shows the notifications any email no notification you will get uh, we will see that uh, in the later videos but uh, currently I have one notification which is I, I just uh, change the password of this account and I get the email uh, here you can get the APA calls uh, we will also t uh, see in the next videos that what are the calls that we have made will show there uh, skip this IPN simulator because PayPal is going to demolish this section and these are the webhook events so whenever the PayPal sandbox or the live account sends the webhooks or send the request or notify that something has done it uh, shows the events in this section and this is the webhook simulator if you want to send something just to check that what are the payload of these events uh, you can test and this is the credit card generator and then this is used for the negative testing okay so uh, and when once everything is done and you are good to go you can uh, go to the live and production and then everything which is happening on the live you can see it from there but currently I have the sandbox account so mm, I will not uh, show you everything on this section so that's all about the sandbox account uh, so in the next video we will uh, see that uh, what are the rest APIs of the PayPal and then we will also call send some uh, request using the postman and I will show you how you can use the client ID and secret uh, in the postman to authenticate your API calls thanks bye bye